So I am uh, Dr. Soumya Swaminathan and I am Director of the National Institute for Research in Tuberculosis based in Chennai. We are one of the largest institutes of the Indian Council of Medical Research and we are now 57 years old. The centre was previously known as the Tuberculosis Research Centre and uh, the initial establishment of the centre was done in collaboration with the British Medical Research Council, the Indian Council of Medical Research and the government of Tamil Nadu in order to develop better treatment regimens for tuberculosis. So that was the original mandate and objective of this institute. We still continue to work on developing better and newer treatment regimens for TB. But in addition, we work in a number of other areas that span right from epidemiology to clinical research to basic research. Tuberculosis is actually a very ancient disease. It is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is a slowly growing uh, bacteria which has learned to survive within the human body and live in a dormant stage or a latent stage for many, many years before it gets reactivated. So the disease can affect any part of the body uh, because uh, the mycobacteria, they tend to spread throughout the body when at the time of initial infection. So the commonest site of disease is pulmonary or in the lung, but tuberculosis can occur anywhere, literally starting from the lymph nodes to the abdomen, to the brain, to the skin, almost any organ can be affected by TB. The treatment of tuberculosis has evolved over the last 50 years or so, ever since the first drugs were discovered, streptomycin and isoniazid. 1940s and 1950s and uh, we now have a regimen which we call as the short course treatment for TB but what is surprising is that short course actually is six months duration so it's not so short but even that has evolved starting with uh, 18 to 24 months of treatment that used to be the standard of care in the uh, 1960s and 70s from the 80s onwards after rifampicin became available we were able to reduce the treatment duration to six months. So for a standard uh, pulmonary or extra pulmonary TB, generally we give six months of treatment. However, for certain special uh, situations like TB of the bones and joints or TB of the central nervous system, this treatment course is often extended to nine to 12 months. In a situation where we have infection with drug-resistant TB, especially multi-drug resistant TB, we, are need, uh, we need to give the treatment for a much longer period and the standard duration of treatment is anywhere from 20 to 24 months. The standard treatment and the, stand, and the drugs that we have available now, azonazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, thambutol, when given in combination, they usually work well in drug sensitive tuberculosis. But we have a couple of challenges uh, and that is the reason why we need new drugs for TB. One is that the treatment is still too long, the six months of treatment and most patients find it extremely difficult to complete this long duration of treatment. So we really need to be able to shorten treatment, shorten the course of treatment as much as possible. Ideally, 10 to 15 days of treatment would be a very ideal situation, but if not, maybe one or two months. So that is one reason why we need newer and more powerful drugs which can be used. The second reason is that mycobacterium tuberculosis develops resistance to the existing drugs uh, by developing mutations uh, in the drug target. So for example, isoniazid resistance in India is seen in about 10 to 15 percent of people who are infected with TB. Multi-drug resistant TB again is on the rise. We see it in about uh, 3 percent or so of uh, people who are having TB for the first time. But in those who had a previous episode of TB, the rate of MDR-TB is much higher, anywhere from 11 to 17 percent. So for these people, both isoniazid and rifampicin are not going to work. And so we need to find better drugs, newer drugs, which could be effective in this population. So MDR-TB, definitely we need new drugs which we can 
use and for again a shorter duration from the standard what we have now is a very long, toxic and expensive course of treatment. And the third group of patients is the HIV infected TB patients. Here because they are taking a number of drugs uh, for their HIV disease, so the drugs that we use for TB should be compatible with the drugs that are used for HIV and again they should be strong, they should be less toxic and have less of drug reactions. So this is uh, some of the reasons why we need actually new drugs for tuberculosis.